elevating the outdoor living. What's going on, y'all? I guess it is early, early as hell in the morning. Uh, heading out to uh, Newark, New Jersey, working on a project out there with um, Sonia Harris uh, through Bullock Elementary. I did some garden work for them about three or four years ago, designed some stuff, worked with Bree Arthur. Uh, I met his son, Slobby Landscaper, and a few other helpers from our Sustainable Heroes team. Uh, since that project has been done, um, we've been adding and doing more work uh, on the schools like it started from the elementary school which was Bullock and now we're about to pick up the middle school and the high school I'm up early in the morning Isabel had to drop me off at the airport I think like at 4 30 this morning my flight's at 6 so getting ready for them to board in about maybe five or ten minutes then a little short two-hour flight over to uh, New Jersey then I got about an hour drive down to Glassboro and kind of meet everybody I think as of right now Bree Arthur the plant lady is there already um, if you guys know much about her, she's written a book on foodscaping, meaning that you can put vegetables and stuff like that inside your flower beds. But, so keep an eye out on us today. Check us out and hang out on blog number 16. <music> safely made it to uh, Jersey now it's time to get the rental car that's just always a chore so this one I thought you had to go outside now you got to go find a train train system to take it somewhere else I forgot my jacket it's snowing out here what a dummy but then again I'm from Chicago so I can handle all the snow car check got that all done out of the airport on the freeway stop grab me some Starbucks something to eat and on my way down uh, GPS shows it's about an hour 20 hour and 30 minutes uh, down to Glassboro New Jersey uh, I think I'm heading to the first school uh, as soon as I got to the ground I got a bunch of texts from everybody three years ago Sonia Harris um, is a school teacher and she put together an initiative to have kind of like an outdoor garden classroom uh, for the kids. So she contacted Ahmed Hassan, uh, the celebrity landscaper from Yard Crashers, uh, to come out and help. Ahmed told her to contact some other uh, people to kind of put together a team, a coalition together. So Sonia worked for about, I think, nine months to a year putting this whole initiative together. She got Mike Pascarello from Elite Landscaping. Uh, who, they, they did the design work uh, for this first school. We helped Vizex help with kind of some changes. And then uh, we did more uh, project manager coordination during uh, the process when it was on the ground. Uh, Med came in, uh, some of our teammates from Sustainable Heroes, uh, they all flew in and we converged for a weekend and we put together the project with, um, there was teachers, principals, uh, volunteers. I, I wanna say at one time it was probably 50, 60 volunteers uh, working two, three days straight to help knock this school garden out. So fast forward to now, because the garden is doing so great, it's a nice, uh, they have a curriculum behind it now. The kids are learning, they're enjoying themselves. Uh, Brie Arthur, plant lady, she comes in every single year to help them open up the garden and kind of gives them tips about how to grow and things like that. Well, now the school board is jumping involved and they want to say, let's add to another school, let's build upon another one, and let's probably work on the whole state. So that's kind of where VizX Design and myself comes in. Uh, today I have, uh, I think, two meetings so far uh, from the text and everything I got. I just I just started getting a barrage of text as soon as the plane got off the ground. So I briefly looked at them, but I noticed the principal of one school and a teacher wants to talk, and I think I got to go to another school, the high school, and meet with the administrator, directors, and stuff from there. So pretty long day. Uh, as you guys see, I started my day at 3 o'clock in the morning, and actually I didn't even end my night till 1 o'clock. I had a ton of work to do last night, so I worked till like 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I laid in bed for two hours, hopped back up. That's probably, I got bad, get in front of my eyes. Hopped up on a plane, two-hour flight. Uh, Jersey now I'm here I got an hour and a half drive and I'm going straight into work hey that's how it works you just got to keep pushing keep grinding and it goes from there so uh, I think I'm gonna uh, grab and get me a cup of Joe and maybe a, a bag nasty uh, you know fast food which I really don't eat I probably can't eat fast food I know if my wife hears it she's gonna be really upset because uh, I got to find something healthier than fast food <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
so I just pulled up to the first school, uh, J. Harvey's Rogers School. Um, I don't know for sure if it's the elementary or the high school. It looks more like an elementary middle school, uh, but I'll find out. I think I'm meeting the principal and uh, one of the staff members at this meeting today. So, um, yeah, I think I'll roll a little bit of footage in there and see what I can do. And then where we're going to put the garden and some ideas, get some measurements. Good thing I brought all the lasers and everything and figured that out. That one was a very small space. I've never seen anything like it. It's um, it's like a pine. It's like a prep school that has uh, three year olds up to five year olds, and it has like a like daycare and then a full time kindergarten uh, throughout the day. So they they were looking for like a, a small sensory garden in the area, so an area where kids can go out and touch the plants and stuff like that. I I don't recommend that. <laughs> so um, it's just a small kind of pie shape, um, half pie shape uh, flower bed. So I'm thinking about putting some boxwoods to keep it rim and just put some colors in the center. Maybe one tall upright, an ornamental tree or something, give it some nice decoration and call it a day. Um, you gotta, the, the thing about this is um, I, I love to do these designs. I love to help people. I love to give it back. But I also got to look at who's going to maintain it. And so even though it's something great, you're giving back to the community, you can actually do worse by them because now they're stuck with trying to maintain this nice garden, this nice space. So uh, sometimes it's just kiss, keep it simple, stupid. So the next school is uh, Thomas Rowe Elementary. Um, I talked to them like two years ago on the project. They had some renovations they were doing, so they had to hold up. Uh, now it looks like they're ready to go. Uh, they seem to already have plans and everything. And since I, I'm like, I consult with Sonya, so I'm just here kind of to take a look and see if everything works. Um, take a look at the hardscapes, the space, the area, the positioning. I mean, because you can sketch anything down on paper, but will it work in real life? So my job is kind of take a look here, talk to, um, I think Lacey is my contact person here to kind of talk and discuss uh, what they're going to do. And Bree is going to pick out all the plants. And I think Mike and those uh, from Elite Landscaping is going to help do the install part like that. Um, hey, this program is actually, from talking to Sonia today, is really good. It's nationwide. And so uh, I'll make sure I post um, the link to it. And so you can go take a look. And if you guys need assistance for your schools in your district, um, take a look and hop on there. And Sonya has kind of spelled out a way to raise money, um, how to get grants, um, how to get us involved, the designers and, and the installers, and then uh, the PTA and the school boards and stuff like that to have it installed. So I just got finished meeting with Lacey here at, um, so I get it wrong, Bow Elementary. There's so many different names I run into. Um, this is where they wanted to put the school garden, but if, as you can see behind me, snow is everywhere. So that means it's not getting any sunlight. The problem with the building is it's blocking the south side and the west side is really where you get your most sunlight. The north and the east, because the sun comes up in the east, and the north, during the summertime, the sun only rides center north. It doesn't ride in the north. It actually rides more in the south. Uh, normally when it when it uh, curves over the earth so as you can see the only area that has snow is the area where they want to put a garden in that lets you know it's not getting any sunlight so that area is out we're gonna find another spot now I'm heading on my way to Bullock that's the one we did uh, Bullock Elementary that's the one we did the project for a couple years ago uh, I know it's gonna be wild I, I think I've been here almost every year since we did the job I kind of last year I came back uh, no not last year but year before I came back to consult with a couple of the other schools and I always come the visit. The destination is so, on your right. GPS. 317 New Street East. I know where it is. I don't need no GPS. Right. I don't need to know where it is. I got GPS in my head. I know where I'm going. So I'm here at Bullock. Uh, Bullock Elementary is the school that we did the project for uh, a couple years ago. Um, so I came, I think since I, I we did the job with Ahmed and everybody, I came back a uh, year before last. Uh, we were consulting with the middle school and the high school. And now we have the new project uh, we're looking at over there. And we're just going to do like a little small garden for them. Uh, these guys have been really maintaining this garden. Um, they've done a great job. Uh, like I said, they've made it a curriculum. It's like an outdoor classroom for that. Uh, so I'm about to go in there and hang out. I think Bree Arthur, uh, the plant lady, she's here. Uh, she does an event every year where she comes in and get the kids excited. So I think we're about to have a lot of fun. And you're about to hear a lot of screaming kids. Gotta be good, you know I'm blogging. <laughs> My main girl. You can't hide. 
Right. See y'all, I got I got my teachers, got my crew. I'm oh, back. It's Donna. Now we just need your wife here. I know. And she was coming. She was actually coming. Oh. Here we go at uh Bullock uh finish. Why do you everybody wave on the vlog? Chill out. Do. You messing up people <laughs> everybody always wants to wave. Uh here we go. Uh, hanging out with Sonya and Donna at Bullock and these two, were you guys the spearheads of the we garden? Were. So mm -hmm. they helped spearhead the garden. And I'm sitting here hanging with Sonya. And honestly, I talk to her a lot. Matter of fact, we talk almost every like week. Like every month? Yeah, at, at least, least once a uh, month or once a once week. once a month, once a just week. Just whatever. Constantly. But today, I really found out how big and how large this is. Mm -hmm. It's Her program is set up to where if your school in your district in your area is looking for a garden, Sonya has the plan because obviously her plan worked. She got a hold of the celebrity landscaper <laughs> who got a hold of me and got a hold of a bunch of people and we were able to put her garden in and the value of your garden was probably maybe a hundred thousand probably. Um, with everything, with um, plants and all of the brick and rocks yeah. and work, yeah. over two fifty. Over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that was <laughs> all donated. Uh, from suppliers, manufacturers, mm -hmm. and I, I, this is not their video, so I don't have a list of them. So don't get mad if you put in you and we don't know about. You can go to the website, and I'll put the link on there. <laughs> but uh, hanging with Donna, Donna is trying not to be in this vlog, but she has to be in it because she's the mom of the whole group. She runs the whole organization. <laughs> Gee, uh, age. <laughs> I, I'm not saying you. Oh, you could be a young mom. I mean, I'm a young mom. Yeah, I yes. Got, I'm 41 with a 22-year-old son, so oh, honey, I, mean, you, I yeah. got years on yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Sonya, say a little bit about what you have mm -hmm. um, going on. Okay. Fast, not. Um, so we have we have a children's garden here. Our school is a grades one through three, and we started a garden just to make learning interesting. That was the original purpose, but it branched out. It it grew. It grew, it grew roots and it ran. So what happened? Um, the kids started learning about mindfulness and how gardens um, were linked with being mindful and bringing peace and calm and the eco-psychology of connecting with the earth. They learned how to eat healthy. So we have a lot of little kids who are kids. demanding Jersey fresh produce from their families. So parents are saying that their kids are eating healthier. They want to be active more. They want to be outside. They mm -hmm. want to be engaged. And now, like my class is on this campaign um, pushing water conservation and I mean they've even changed their lives at home their families lives and now they're coming up with different ways to save water in the garden so we're we're actually growing future entomologists and horticulturalists and herbologists and engineers all of these things that come from gardening so that's what we're doing we're growing it here and we've been lucky enough that it's caught wind and we're taking it to our entire district. So we are five schools. We have a pre-K K building. We have our building, first, second, and third. We have a fourth, fifth, sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth. seventh, eighth, and then the high school. And I met with, was it Bo? You went, met with Bo's school. That's Bo school. our fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, and then the pre? The pre-K K. Okay, we're not gonna do a edible garden there. I'm just no. gonna do a nice decorative. Right. Uh, They're doing a sensory actually, garden. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not even going to be sensory because I don't want the kids to touch them. It's just going to be a. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty garden. <laughs> a little tiny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think one of the other factors too is that it meets all the curriculum needs, Everything. and it's a way that mm -hmm. affects the kids and impacts them to be independent mm -hmm. and to later grow healthy foods for themselves and their families. Yeah. And it's really cost effective for them as well. But exactly. that education piece again is opening the minds of the kids mm -hmm. to the. Um, other aspects that they can enter into when it comes to career choices. That's right. My only other comment is if I've learned anything through this, mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt to ask. The worst you're going it to doesn't. hear is no, and you can always ask again in a different way or go visit someone else who's willing to back you and support right. you to get you started. But if you're not even sure about asking, you can go to www.bullockgardenproject.org. Apply for assistance. Doesn't matter where you are, our mission is to give back to everyone that gave to us. So we just want to put out the goodness that we received back into the world. So go apply for assistance if you're a school, and we will do everything we can to help you and connect you with the right people. She's pointing at me. <laughs> our official sponsor, Vizex Design, <laughs> out of Chicago, in Jersey. That's crazy. <laughs> 
boom. It's getting down, so keep an eye out. Uh, I'm going to put the link uh, for her organization on this vlog, and I'll probably try to push it. Make sure you guys share. If you haven't shared yes. any of my videos, share this, share this one. one. I think this one, to have the kids eating healthy. Um, I, I think when we started Sustainable Heroes, mm -hmm. Ahmed and I, I remember we had that meeting in San Diego. Yes. And we were talking about one of the most amazing projects that we did was Daniela's Wish. I mean, Aww. that one still brings That's tears so to my precious. eyes. And we were talking about the one in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying, I had like this euphoric feeling and I said that the only one to me that really made sense that gave back was the one that nobody was really talking about was Bullock Garden <laughs> because it gave something back to the community. Mm -hmm. Drawing these these expensive, nice, amazing designs for people is great, but what is it doing to their soul? And that's kind of where the direction I want to go, because uh, you know my tagline, <laughs> we're elevating the outdoor living.